setting a password, a pin code, or even a pattern on the Galaxy S7 is very important if you want to protect your personal data. A lot of people ignore this type of security layer simply because they feel it is a hassle and it is inconvenient. There have been studies that show that the average person unlocks their smartphone over 100 times a day. So being asked to input your password, pin code, or pattern 100 times a day is definitely understandable. To combat this, Google has introduced a feature called Smart Lock, and this feature is on the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. To find this feature, we need to launch the Settings application. Then we're going to scroll down and tap on the Lock Screen and Security option. Then we're going to need to tap on the Secure Lock Settings option. If you look at the bottom here, we have a Smart Lock option. Tapping on that, you'll be asked to input your current security password, whether it's a pin, pattern, or password. Even if you have a fingerprint set up, you'll be asked to put in your pin, pattern, or password. Now Smart Lock has four different options that you can set up. Trusted devices, trusted places, trusted voice, and on-body detection. Now the whole point of Smart Lock is that when Google, when Android, when your Galaxy S7 detects a place or a thing or a voice that has been de designated as trusted, it will not require your pattern, password, or PIN code to unlock the device. So say we wanted to add a trusted device. This works really well for smartwatches. It works good for the Bluetooth in your car. And it can even work for NFC stickers. So if your smartwatch was connected to the Galaxy S7, then you would not be required to add to put in your password, pin code, or pattern to unlock it. Same goes for your car's Bluetooth system. If it detects that it's connected to your car's Bluetooth, you will not be asked to input any of those on the lock screen. This works for trusted places as well. Maybe you wanted to designate your home as a trusted place. So anytime you are home, you, are not be, you will not be required to input any of those on the lock screen. You could set this up for your work. Maybe a favorite restaurant. You can do a trusted voice. To use trusted voice, you actually have to have the OK Google option enabled in the Google app. Once you enable this, you'll have a toggle here for trusted voice. This will use Google's voice recognition software to detect if it's you saying OK Google or somebody else. The last thing we have here is on-body detection. This is a little different because you will still be required to unlock the device like normal with a pin, pattern, or password. But it will only be required once as long as the phone detects that it's on you. Whether it means you're holding it in your hand, whether it's in your pocket, in a bag, but whenever the phone detects that it has been placed down on a table, 
or a desk or anything like that, then it will say that it's not on your body anymore. And then the next time you pick it up, it will be required to unlock it with a pattern, password, or PIN code. Now all of these options will make your phone a little more vulnerable because if you set it to a trusted device as long as that device is connected to the phone anybody can unlock it. Same thing with a trusted place. If you set your house as a trusted place a friend, family member, anybody could pick it up get into your phone as long as you're at the house. The reason why Google has this is because a lot of people simply do not use a pattern, pin code, or password because it's too inconvenient. So while this is a little less secure than having a lock screen set all the time, it's more secure than if you didn't set one at all.